For today's Sunday case study, I'm gonna go through a pediatric case. We have a three-month-old male who's brought in by his mom for just a routine three-month-old checkup. He's met all of his developmental milestones, but the mom has noticed that in picture, she thinks his head seems to be getting a little bit longer. When you look at the baby from a side view, the patient's head does seem to be somewhat long and the forehead seems to be bossing a little bit. When looking at the baby from the top down, his head seems to be elongated. So my question is, what is the diagnosis and what is the treatment? Is this positional or is it something more concerning? Could we just put this baby in a helmet and see how he does? Come back tomorrow and I'll explain the whole case. Did you know that sometimes baby soft spots close too soon? Let's go through the answers from the case I presented yesterday of a three month old baby boy who presented for his routine three month old checkup and was found to have an abnormally shaped head. Mom said that she's noticed that the baby's head has become more elongated and his forehead is starting to protrude. If you look straight down on the baby's head, it's more football shape or elongated. This is called craniosynostosis. Babies are born with soft spots in their head called fontanelles and then their sutures or their skull plates are not fused to allow for brain growth. This allows the brain to grow as the baby gets older and most of the growth happens in the first two years of life. If one of those sutures closes prematurely, it can lead to an abnormally shaped head and one of the types of craniosynostosis as seen below. Our patient had sagittal sinus closure and suffered from scaphocephaly. This is the most common type of synostosis and it is seen in about 50% of cases. This is totally different than positional molding, which can also be seen in babies. Positional molding can be seen with flattening of the back of the head and can lead to an abnormally shaped head as well. In those cases, helmet treatment can be recommended for cosmetic correction of the baby's skull. But what do we do for the case I presented? Now, depending on which suture closes prematurely, it can impede the brain growth development. Imaging is usually recommended to evaluate which suture is closed and what surgical treatment options may be presented. In our baby's case, the patient was diagnosed before six months of age, therefore a strip craniectomy was recommended. Here is a video of the surgery showing where a team of surgeons can remove a portion of the skull that has been closed prematurely to allow for remolding of the patient's head. This is typically followed by a period of helmeting to allow for full reshaping of the head. If you have any concerns about your baby's head shape, it's always best to start with your pediatrician. They can determine the next step in the treatment workup. Here is a good before and after picture demonstrating a successful surgery. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.